What's up, guys? Finally, finally freaking getting around to doing um, part two of my uh, Gerber LMF2 versus the Gerber Bear Grills. I uh, did a little tabletop uh, look at them a couple weeks ago, um, and I'm just now getting around to trying to do a little work on them. Um, my plan is to do a little batoning with both of them. Um, just to see how well they cut through the wood and then also I've got these uh, tent tie downs um, spikes, stakes, whatever you want to call them um, I'm going to do a little hammering because I figure you know if you're out camping one of these knives that may be one thing that you may actually use the hammers uh, on these because both of these actually do have um, a hammer so I'm going to test that out as well so we're going to start out with the Gerber LMF2 do a little batoning with it first. Let's see what we got here. All right, obviously my there that I was using. The hammer isn't the best in the world, so I'll get a bigger piece of wood here. Can't really grip on with this. Actually, let me use this one to grip. Love when doing live videos, how everything just works out for you, you know? good so far you can see uh, you can see there the finish is coming off a little bit but yeah that's no big deal seems to be doing a pretty good job with the baton in here yeah I've had this well, could have just been the wood Slicing right through it pretty easily, I have to say. Alright, well, that was pretty good for the Gerber. Alright, let's give the this thing back in this holster. Sheath, whatever. Gotta be all PC about it. Now let's try the Gerber Bear Grills. See if this thing will actually even hold up. Heard some complaints about this thing, but I guess we'll find out. About the same on the first one. wood too so there we go pretty good definitely see the finish on it it's wearing off pretty good as well but you know it's actually rubbed off almost all the finish on that one but again if you're gonna use it you're gonna lose some of the finish Good, let's try one more. Okay, hang on to your wood, that's important. Alright. I guess enough. I'm gonna get a little too tired here. But obviously the uh, both the knives will get the job done. I don't see it being a problem you know, kind of as much wood as you would possibly need. Both knives seem to be pretty well. Um, I'll do a part three and actually look at the blades and see how much, you know, they got cut up. But, I mean, this is some hard-ass wood, and it did a pretty good job. So, 
Now, I'm going to try to do a little hammering. Now, you can't really hammer with a sheath in with this Bear Grylls um, because of the back there. And I guess I could try, but it's just not very comfortable. So I'm just going to hang on to the grip really well and try to hammer down here and try not to cut myself. That was easy. Let's try another one. Holding up. Let's speed it up a little bit more. That thing's solid. Alright, let's try the LMF2. This one you are supposed to fold it down. Let's give this a try. Alright. This is definitely a pain in the butt here. I mean, it's getting the job done, but I mean, you have to hold the sheath, and it's just, man, this is a pain in the ass here with this hammering. Plus, you have this small little surface here. So. All right, well, hammering definitely goes to the bare grills, which I didn't expect, but I guess with a bigger hammer surface and a little easier to handle, um, it's a, I, I should have expected it. That's about it for now, guys. Um, I'm going to do a part three, a little follow-up later on, but uh, just stay tuned. Thanks.